absolutely gorgeous way to finish this album. <laughs> hey superstars, HBK Luke here. Hope you sexy boys and girls are doing great, baby. Let's go. Woo! Because it is time for the final two songs from the Beatles' third studio album, A Hard Day's Night. The songs are You Can't Do That and I'll Be Back. Starting with You Can't Do That, which was the B-side to Can't Buy Me Love, written by John with Mr. Lennon also taking the lead vocals. We are close to the finale. Let's get to it. The penultimate track of this album, it's Showtime. Something to say that might cause you pain If I catch you talking to that boy again I'm gonna let you down And leave you flat Because I told you before Oh, you can't do that Well, it's the second time I caught you talking to him Do I have to tell you one more time? you down Okay, a very interesting transition that we get there when we get the almost the slowdown and then the drum. It's 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 not quite it's not quite where your ear expects it to go, is it? And it's something I'm noticing more and more with the Beatles. They play around with the structure of their songs, perhaps more than anyone at this point. We've got more of this kind of 12-bar blues style, haven't we? Interesting as well that John takes the guitar solo in this instead of George. And uh, I really like the, the vocals on this, where we get that, you know, we get one of those screams from John, but we also get this almost slightly broken voice, you know, it's the, the, the emotion, the anger, the frustration, the jealousy taking over him to the point where it's almost, and it works perfectly the way to the end kind of distorts the kind of ending of the phrase, which I think is brilliant. And then the, the harmonies come in, which are awesome as well. Um, the cowbell going off as well. It adds this element of, um, I don't know, almost this banging your head against a wall kind of feeling. Again, that kind of frustration creeping through. And uh, I think here we, we're kind of seeing jealous John Lennon, and maybe associate with a song of one of the few of his uh, solo work I've heard, Jealous Guy, where this feeling, and I guess we saw it on a couple of the songs previous, you know, maybe it is this more mature Beatles, but actually there's still those elements of jealousy, of her, of heartbreak coming through. And here I think this song, you know, we've got the, uh, well, his partner is talking, laughing with someone else and he can't stand it. And he's wondering how many more times is he going to have to tell her 
before, you know, something more sinister happens here. This darker side. And actually, I like it. I like that we get the mix, actually. We've gone from the very young, lovey-dovey Beatles, uh, which maybe actually I associate more with Paul, to John. He's a little bit more jealous, more protective, isn't he? There's a little bit of a sinister, darker side there which is uh, it's going to be interesting, I think, moving through into the next albums to see how this sound matures. But I'm loving this album. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's move to the final song of this absolutely brilliant album, isn't it? It's I'll Be Back. No, that is not Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator. This is written by Mrs. Lennon and McCartney. John on lead vocals again, this time to close the album. So let's check it out. It's showtime. If you break my heart, I'll go, but I'll be back again, cause I told you once before goodbye, but I came back again. Yes, I'm the one who wants you Oh, 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 oh You could find better things to do Than to break my heart again This time I will try to show that I'm Not trying to pretend That if I ran away from you, that you would want me to But I got a big surprise Oh, 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 oh You could find better things to do Than to break my heart again This time, I will try to show that I'm not trying to pretend I wanna go But I hate to leave you You know I hate to leave you Oh, 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 oh You If you break my heart I'll go But I'll be back again What an absolutely gorgeous way to finish this album. Perhaps, if not sad, lyrically, which I'll get to in a moment, but it's such a sweet, soft song. We've got this gorgeous guitar, which is almost that classical, like, flamenco style, isn't it? Really great riff, but kind of simplistic, but so, so satisfying in its nature. Interesting here, I think we're starting to see the Beatles experiment just a little bit more with the stylings of their music, time signatures, major and minor keys, because we get that here, which actually gives that romantic and yet kind of really sad feeling to this song, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and that unexpected fade out, it ends just a little bit too early, doesn't it? But it's, uh, I always think, you know, an album, you look at the opening track and the closing track to kind of get the, the feeling of the album, to see the journey you've been on. And it's a very kind of somber, ending with the last two songs because there's kind of we get the jealousy and then we get the heartbreak that we get with this song uh the guitar in this is gorgeous the vocals in this are superb and i talked about kind of the more associating paul with the more romantic side but here john lennon proving he can do it just as well carney if not in a slightly different way the vocals on this have been my favourite from the Beatles so far. In particular, John has stood out. He's been on more of the tracks, hasn't he, than Paul. But just his ability to do the rock and roll, to switch it up to a ballad, more ballad-style song like this, and get different emotions through. The harmony with this is great. Paul coming just behind him there. I think George in there as well. But uh, 
the way their vocals flow, I think, is just so, so good. And I love the rawness that you get of the 60s style, you know. There is, you know, the production is there, but it's not kind of enhanced beyond belief, you know. There is still that rawness of the playing. And uh, I don't know, there's just something about the 60s playing style of the guitars that just does something for me. It draws me in. It's, you know, you can imagine listening to it on your stereo or on your tape or whatever it may be, a record, which I think is just brilliant. And there's something in that that, that adds an extra effect to the song. Um, I don't know, maybe a simpler time, perhaps. And uh, interesting here, the change in time signature as well. We go from 4-4 four, four to 2-4. And I think the Beatles would be one of the kind of uh, the pioneers or certainly experiment a lot with time signatures going forward from here. Interesting to hear it and the kind of... It just takes you just to a slightly different place, doesn't it? And with a fade out as well. And I think that's where music's at its best, you know. You, you don't become accustomed to where it's going. You're always expecting something a little bit different. And the Beatles so far on this journey have certainly done that. The lyrics, I think, are heartbreaking in the most heartbreaking of ways. You know, it's a song about not being able to move on from someone. You know, you're constantly going back to them. You know you'll be back again. But you've also realized they don't feel the same way about you. And it's that tragedy of being almost obsessed in love with someone, knowing you'll do anything for them and to keep going back when they wouldn't do the same. You know, you thought your absence would make them kind of feel how you feel, but it hasn't. If anything, it's done the opposite. They haven't been in contact. They haven't wanted you back. They haven't shown their desire to have you in their life. And it is that awful heartbreaking feeling and i have been there it absolutely sucks but you know the, the darker tone to the end of this album i don't know if this is a, something to expect going forward but it's it feels like it's you know it's we've moved on from the innocence of the young love to this deeper darker you know more heartbreaking more jealous style certainly with the last song and then this one as well it's an absolutely brilliant album, isn't it, from start to finish. I'm going to check out the, the movie as well um, to see it with a little bit more context, perhaps, at the point the Beatles are in their own lives, as well as creating this fabulous music. But uh, I feel like every song, it just gets added to the playlist instantly because there is just something about the Beatles, their sound, the way that they're changing music. And it's great to actually see it going through the albums how they did that, you know, what are we, 1964 here, I cannot wait to get to 1970, six years of just, you know, changing music forever, I am so up for the journey and cannot wait, let me know in the comments what you guys think, please like and subscribe, and HBK Luke is signing.